Vernier reduction drives, one of the most useful components for electronic constructors. Sure, you can build transmitters and receivers without reduction drives, but you'll find that operating is a hassle. It's amazing the difference that a good reduction drive makes to the usability of a receiver. But where do you find them? You might find them at a ham fest or radio junk sale. But sometimes they can pop up in the most unexpected of places. What we've got here is a National Panasonic AM and shortwave broadcast receiver made in about the 1970s. It has a drum type dial. The tuning knob is on the side of the case. Let's take a look inside. If we look at the tuning capacitor, it requires half a turn to go from minimum to maximum capacitance. If we do the same exercise with the tuning knob, it actually requires two and a half turns. Therefore, the reduction ratio is five to one. Most transistor radios have a slide wall dial and achieve their reduction through the use of a dial cord and pulleys. However, if you find a radio that uses a dial drum, you may well find that there is a vernier reduction drive contained inside. Old transistor radios, more useful than you might think for the amateur constructor.